was an awe-inducing moment. 31-year-old Sarah Anderson was walking again. In 2003, she had been hit and paralyzed by a drunk driver. I had just graduated from college, from Cal Poly. It was two weeks after my graduation, and due to this individual's poor decision, I, I, I mean, my future, everything that I had worked so hard for was gone. Sarah is walking thanks to an exobionic suit. It's a computerized bionic exoskeleton that moves her legs as she provides the balance and proper body positioning. I wanted to be a vet. That was my future. And because of sustaining a spinal cord injury nine years ago, all that I'd known and all that I worked for was, was taken away from me in, in a split second. Sarah is not alone. There are 1.275 million Americans affected by spinal cord injury paralysis and 5.6 million affected by some form of paralysis. California is home to 650,000 people living with paralysis. On a national scale, someone suffers a traumatic spinal cord injury every 41 minutes. The cost to California for their care and income loss is upwards of $1 billion annually. Since 2005, motor vehicle crashes have accounted for nearly half of all spinal cord injuries. The number goes up to 56% for children. Research program. Assembly member Bob Wykowski wants the legislature to bring hope to the people who suffer from paralysis. He's pushing forward Assembly Bill 1657, the Roman Reed Spinal Cord Injury Research Act, also known as Pennies for Paralysis. As hard as it is to ask people to pay an extra dollar on their, on their fine or ask the legislator to approve the extra dollar, it's this type of cutting edge uh, uh, research and technology that gives me the energy to say, I, you don't understand, this is really, the seed money is absolutely fantastic. Roman Reed, the namesake of the legislation, was paralyzed in 1994 while playing football in college. Despite being told that he would never walk again, never use his arms, and never father a child, today Roman can bench press 225 pounds, is the proud father of three, and a nationally recognized advocate for research into spinal cord paralysis. When America landed on Mars, when we've already walked on the moon, our paralyzed shall one day walk again because of AB 1657, pennies for paralysis. Wykowski's legislation would add $1 to all moving traffic violation fines. Those funds would be directed to the Roman Reed Spinal Cord Injury Research Fund. We could potentially raise $3.4 million in funds uh, for this vital research. You can understand the math if we can leverage federal funds after that. Eight states throughout the nation are already uh, using this ap approach to fund spinal cord research. Please. Take a stand for research, take a stand for California, take a stand for the suffering. Take a stand so one day everybody can. I can, I can walk now. It might not be you know, traditional walking like how most able-bodied people are, but it's walking. And to someone who suffers a spinal cord injury, any kind of walking is a good kind of walking and I am so grateful and so thankful for this opportunity. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.